Hey everybody, Chuck here, PowerAxe.com. What you see here is just a standard run-of-the-mill compression tester you pick up at your better auto parts stores. What this tool is for is to measure uh, cylinder pressure with inside the, um, you take this right here, stick it inside the uh, spark plug hole, snug it up, you don't have to be tight because you don't want to bust your O-rings here. Turn the motor over, unhook your spark plug or ignition coil or whatever you need to do to be sure it does not start. Turn the motor over, this needle comes up, it reads X amount of pounds. X amount of pounds equal to, is meaning whatever is appropriate for your car. Cars vary from one make, manufacturer, four cylinder, six cylinder, whatever, it varies to the pressure. So I'm not going to give you a number. But then you take, you test it number one, it showed to be X amount of pounds. Put it number two, test it, it shows to be X amount of pounds. Number three cylinder, number four, however many cylinders you have in your car. Then you write down each number. You look if there's a variance between any of those numbers. It's, it can vary, but only within a certain margin. And that, again, depends on what car. But the reason for the video, it's not to show you a compression test or give you a quick how does it work thing. I need a, a leak down tester. Okay. That's another tool. I don't want to go buy one. There is a quick way. It works. It's not probably... It may not be as accurate as some of your high dollar versions or whatever, but it works. So, what have I done? Good question. Look at here. This little adapter here. Let me pop this right here off. What this right here is for is going to give me the ability to hook that airline onto this to fill the cylinder full of pressure and let it bleed down. It tells me how much bleed down. This is with inside the cylinder. That tests uh, how good the ring seal, head gasket seal, such like that. How did I make it? Oh, you guys are full of questions. Check it out. This separates. So then what happens? This goes here. That locks on. This goes here. Ta -da. Okay, I know. It ain't quite complete how you put the air in. Good Another good question. Air goes in here, but with this little adapter, you see I kind of run through the most spare parts, bins and stuff. And I work near a Harbor Freight, so I pick his stuff up. I catch them on sale, just have extra parts for him. That's obviously an old one. But anyway, that pops in there. Now this little valve right here, what you do, you turn it to adjust how fast the cylinder fills up full of air. Pop your airline on here. Airline goes there. You let the air in very slowly. You watch the needle climb up to wherever you want it. Now, if you just want it sitting at like 80 pounds, whatever, when you get it filled up, pop it off here. That locks the air inside the cylinder. You watch this right here. You write your number down if you filled it up to, I would say, 60 pounds or whatever whatever your number needs to be you write that number down watch it if that needle starts drifting down you know you've got a cylinder leaking down they'll all some of them leak within a given amount of reason but if one drops faster than another you found a bad head gasket or you had a cracked head burnt valve something like that so anyway there you go this right here's just a simple air manifold you can use like your brass tees whatever you need Fitting, fitting. I plugged this one off because I didn't need it. Pop that in. Simple, easy, effective. Alright, everybody. Thanks for checking out my video. Chuck, PowerX.com. Peace. See y'all.